Do I want to sleep right now? Yes, 100%. Do I also feel like if I went to sleep in this room, I'll wake up extremely depressed tomorrow? Also, yes. Oh my god. It actually looks like St. Patrick's Day took place in here. But there was no leprechaun, it was just me. So what time is it? 2 10 a.m. I saw a case study done in like the year 2011 where it was proven that people with ADHD tend to be more nocturnal. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that, but for some reason I chose the wee hours of the morning to completely deep clean my room because I can't sleep. My bed sheets aren't even on my bed. Not only does my room smell horrid and I don't know where it's coming from, but I also gotta deep clean my closet. The metal rod holding them up is bending. It's gonna break soon because I'm just such a hoarder. I can't help looking stylish. You know how it is. My bathroom looks like we took my cat and shaved it completely free of all of its fur. We love you. Yeah, we love you. Mwah. This is gonna be an emotional roller coaster, so make sure to like this video for good luck. And to manifest, I don't stop doing this after 30 minutes. I think the reason I let my room just build up and get all this clutter is because I never know where to start. I usually just let it all pile up. Don't blame me. Who else are you gonna blame? My furry friends? Like, there's nobody else but me. Just blame me. The idea of being clean feels like a dystopia to me. But tonight, that's all changing because I have this thing called motivation. And I'm gonna use it because usually it only lasts one day and then it's gone for an entire month. Sorry, I zoned out. Where do we start? Maybe my bed, just because it is the center of attention in this room. <laughs> Except for me. This is my childhood teddy bear. His name is Scotty. What's that? You want to get closer to the camera? Catch! <laughs> 2 a.m. calls for a lot of Delulu. Scotty's a good boy most of the time. <laughs> Your room is who you are at your core. Actually, that's pretty accurate. I've been a rat. I'm blaming the sun setting at 5 p.m. for that. It's like a holiday that just sparks depression. I'm so good at distracting myself. Let me tell you that much. I took the liberty of pre-washing my sheet. Just have to make the bed. Small victories should still be celebrated. Everyone say ba ba da ba wee. Wee. One more time for the big girl. Wee. Is this something State Farm can help me with? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Jake. Okay, I'm done talking. Let's do one thing. It takes me five minutes to put on a singular bed sheet. I promise I'm usually more productive than this. Why is it always the last corner that gives you the most difficulty? I did it! My foot is stuck! Oh, that's nice. One task is now completed. If you want me to speed up this process, you might want to subscribe just to make me encouraged. Oh my gosh, thank you. What is this feeling I'm getting? Is it a love search? <laughs> I bet my life on you. Oh, you know what I want for Christmas? A spouse. To just keep me afloat. No, I take it back. I support single ladies. I am one. I will say the one pro of making your bed is you can take out your anger on the pillow part. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm sorry, what did Jeremy say about me? Oh, that my feet smell. This area right here is Jeremy. <laughs> Works like a charm. What's that? Jenny said the same thing. Keep my name out your mouth. My feet smell like roses. You know, it really makes the pillow nice and plump as well. Thank you, Jenny. Holding blankets to me is like the equivalent of touching grass. Really just relaxes the nerves. Aw, this makes me wish I made my bed two months ago when I first stopped making it. Alrighty. Look at how spacious this is. And you just go a little bit away and we have our next task. That is my backpack from a trip I took over a week ago. Before I get to that though, we might want to start with folding the laundry. Do I even want to rant about laundry? Yes, I do. I have a lot of thoughts. For starters, it makes no sense that you have to wash something after wearing it once. A lot of the time I'll wear something once, I'll give it a sniff test. If it passes, she goes right back up into my closet. I'm going to conserve what I put in that laundry. You know why? You got to wash it, then you got to dry it, then you got to put it on your ground. You probably will let it sit there for a hot second because you're crazy if you do all three at once. And by crazy, I mean I envy you. But then there's that moment of no return where you finally are just fed up with the pile sitting in the corner of your room that's been looking at you crooked for the past week and a half and you say, no more! I am folding you and putting you back where you belong instantly. <gasps> The water cycle serves a purpose. What does the laundry cycle serve you? Clothing? My ancestors went nude. I will never complain about the life I live, but I will say laundry sucks. It might also be stressing me out because of the abundance of clothing I have. I grow emotional attachment and do not like getting rid of things. I'm gonna make it a goal of mine to go through everything in my closet if I haven't worn it in the past two weeks. Bye bye birdie, you go on in the goodwill bin. Where is that stench coming from? I wish y'all could be in my room. It's like a winter wonderland until something starts to reek. Is it my breakfast from this morning? No, she still smells like sweetness with a little bit of hope. In order to put my clothes away, I need to make space for them. So should we just... Casper, you got me. As I was saying, it's now time to gut out my closet. At least now I can do a cool transition. 
Ooh. And welcome to my closet. As you can see by this very in-depth video showing every nook and cranny of this space, it's a mess. And it's also filled to the brim, so I think tonight might be the time I finally do that. I'm gonna need some trash bags, though. One, two, three, and four. That one's the big boy. I think the order of operations for this procedure should be trying on whatever I want to get rid of, just to double check. Starting off with a banger, we have Dua Lipa's Houdini merch. On the front, there's dazzling pearly whiteies. And I believe the back is where it says the name drop. I feel like there's a time and place for this, and it's the dentist. I go once a year. It's a maybe. Y'all don't hate me for this one. As much as I love this one, and I love it with my whole heart. Sometimes I want to put my hands up in the air and just wave them around like I don't care. But if I'm showing skin, that's just not a good fit. I'm going to make a pile for friends and family. I have so much Disney memorabilia, this is not going to be missed. Can't believe I just said that. Is it cute? Yes. Have I worn it ever? No. You know, I forgot I had this. <laughs> I'm not gonna get rid of it. I do actually think it looks good and it has a moment. That moment needs to happen. So I'm setting a two month timer for her. I'm just a silly old banana. I wore this for about two years straight, but it's for sure been replaced. I did really like it, but its expiration date was definitely not the longest. Am I not a stripes person? This is the same thing, different font. I really did get this expecting to wear it a crazy amount, but I do, ooh, I kind of love the way it looks on me. Maybe this is the one exception. What if the chemistry is still there? It's not the most flattering. I think it's time to say our goodbyes. This is a fat no. For a good year this was my favorite thing in the entire world and it brought me so much peace and joy however i will say i did retire this from my day-to-day -day wardrobe i have so many stains on it because of how many times i wore it to theme parks like gross she's extremely tiny there is no wiggle room i'ma be honest i posted a photo in this and i got roasted apparently it gives off a very southern fisherman vibe and never wore it again i'ma just speed round no 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 nope no another emotional attachment but no i ethically can't keep you anymore no no this is three years old and stained honestly i was gonna say no, but I'm kind of digging it. I like, I like the way you way work, work it. it. No, no diggity. I gotta back it up. This, on the other hand, has nothing special about it. I don't know how to function in this one, so I'm just gonna default to my deep voice. Did you catch the game on Sunday? I love watching men play with balls. And I think that's the end of that. What is that? Guys, I smell it again. I know this isn't a moldy cucumber I forgot about. <laughs> It's leaking! It's leaking! Oh my god. A couple weeks ago, I got a cucumber and I thought it would be a funny video to make. Ugh. I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. I think I'm allergic to mold. Or maybe I just sprayed too much of this. It's one or the other. Where was I? Oh, right. Saying no to this. Too tight. No. 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 Honestly, yes. I was considering it, but I think I've decided. No. Maybe shrinking. I had this weird phase where I just loved the skinniest, most tight shirt. And I bought them in 17 colors. This is the purple one. Does it fit who I am today? No. I got sidetracked. One thing led to another. I did end up watching watching tutorials on how to play Club Penguin. I don't wanna be awake, do da, do da. But I will say my closet's already looking significantly better. Is it though? Am I just gaslighting myself? I went through 70%, good enough for me. We did one entire bag of donations and a nice assorted pile of friends and family clothes. If nobody wants them, I'm gonna be sad. Pretty much everything at the end of my closet, once upon a time, had a home back there. And then I came along, like the big friendly giant I am. I don't think it will take too terribly long. Don't quote me on that. You know what? It'll do. It's not perfect, but in my opinion, it's much better than what it was before. Now I just gotta put up the other clothes. Thankfully, I have an abundance of hangers to choose from. Would I say I gave it my 100%? Definitely not. It's four in the morning, but it was a good first effort. I wanted to set up my computer, but honestly, I'm lazy. I think I'm just gonna put it in my closet now that I have space. I'll set it up eventually. Don't come for me. I just have no room. It's not even bothering anybody. I'll get to it eventually, but not tonight. If we just take away my breakfast, look how nice that just made this. I mean, I cleaned my desk. It looks much better, but I was collecting my water bottles. Someone needs to tell me to only use one at a time because this is absurd. It's like collecting Pokemon cards and we don't need that right now. I'm 21. We should probably make a trip downstairs with everything that belongs there. I'm trying to think of a smart way to do this. Okay, please don't wake up, Maddie. Please don't wake up, Maddie. Every time I come up here, I've been overlooking my bathroom, and that's been on purpose. I mean, I can't even walk in there without stepping on my hair. It's in disarray. There has been a lot of things that took place here, and none of that happened to be cleaning. I've been procrastinating because I need to get the vacuum, which just so happens to be right outside my sleeping roommate's door. That for some reason's open. I close mine. Oh my gosh, that was the scariest thing I've ever done. I hope this doesn't wake them up. Voilà. 
The difference a little TLC makes is actually scary. Why does this look so much better? Oh, maybe it's because a handsome 20 year old did something productive about their life. But who's to say? The next time I want a room makeover, I'm waiting until 2 a.m. Because for some reason at 2 a.m., Carter really gets down and dirty. I haven't thought of decorating this tree once. Now it's done. Don't ask about the castle. It just does not fit anywhere. Oh, the desk. Oh my gosh, so much work is gonna get done here. Courtesy of Carter. The bed. So much sleep is gonna happen here. Courtesy of Carter. And only two drinks. One of them is filled with emergency because I'm a little under the weather. What's this? An eye mask. So thoughtful, Carter. The bathroom, where a lot of nakedness will take place. And last, the closet, where a lot of dressing up will take place. I don't even want to look back on the before photos because the after is where it's at. Hopefully this also motivates you to clean your spaces. I know it's hard, but just trust me. Once it's done, you'll thank yourself. And with that being said, I am going to sleep because it's... It's 4.56 a.m. Good night. Woo! <laughs> Something tells me my dreams are going to be vivid tonight because I earned it.